Pisces. It's your turn. It's funny here. Um, we are going to do your reading for October. But this is a timeless read. So whenever you find it, Pisces, it's for you. And so I want to go ahead and welcome you to my sacred space of love and healing. Um, let's see. What else do we have to talk about, Pisces? It is spooky month. So we always start with my beauty of horror tarot. I break it out every October. So we're definitely diving into that. And like I said, this is a timeless read, but whenever you find it, it's for you, okay? Um, but we will be focusing on, on the month of October, okay? All right, so I already cleansed your space. We're going to go ahead and just dive right in. What does Pisces need to know for their love life? What does Pisces need to know? What do we got for Pisces? What do we have for beautiful Pisces? What do we have for Pisces? Sorry about the background noise, guys. What do we have for Pisces, please? Okay, sorry about that, Pisces. Man, it is so hard to find some space to do this. There's all sorts of noise, and it's distracting. Okay. <clears throat> Pisces, reading now for Pisces, please. Pisces, look like you have some really good things coming in for you. <clears throat> we have a nine of pentacles right off the bat. Three of pentacles. Ace of Pentacles. That's a lot of Pentacles. <laughs> oh man, tell me what the hell Pentacles has to do with love. <laughs> Money can't buy love. <laughs> Ooh, that hurts my hand. I'll tell you what though, if you're in a connection right now, I see it working out really well, okay? <clears throat> so, it feels like for some of you, most of you, you're already in a connection. For some of you, you have a new connection coming in. The Ace of Pentacles represents a new connection. If you are connected with someone right now, though, let me tell you, um, you guys mesh very well together. Like the three of pentacles shows me that you guys have very similar ideals and, and life values, which shows me that you guys are basically on the same page. They're trying to build something with you, right? The nine of pentacles shows me that they're working towards building a future with you. They see you as the empress so and as nine of pentacles. So they see you as someone who's very grounded and very stable and that sort of rubs off on them. You inspire them to want to be their best self, okay? And for those of you that are not in a connection, you have another, you have a connection coming in. Like, it's it's weird. I, I'm getting like two different storylines. This is really rare. Like, I normally don't get two different storylines. So I'm going to end up pulling two sets of cards, okay? Um... <clears throat> But for those of you that are in a connection, let's go ahead and go with that. Um, let's see what else this person wants you to know. Okay. What else can we know about this connection for those that are in a connection? Hangs man. So there might be... Hmm. 
This is not making any sense. Now we get the Haynes man, which, hold on. Let's pull another card so I can see where this is going. Because now they're just confusing me, Pisces. Why is it that I have such a hard time reading for Pisces? I swear. It's like your guys' energy is all over the place. It feels so weird. I don't get it. I used to have a really hard time reading for Aquarius. Now I have a hard time reading for you guys. Okay. So it's showing me in this connection. For those of you that are in a connection, this is how you'll know that this is your story. So there was a period where like there was nothing going on with this person. And then all of a sudden they just came in out of nowhere, right? This is how you'll know it's for you. Okay, that makes more sense. Although what that has to do with here or there, or the birds and the bees, I don't, I don't get it, right? I just don't get it. That's neither here nor there. We keep getting this energy of three. Third time is a charm. That's what I heard. We got three, which is the Empress. We got three of cups and we got three of pentacles. There's something about the number three here that's going to be significant. I have no, absolutely no clue what it is. But that's three, three times. So in the past, this person may have felt like you were a lot of work, but they're willing to put in the work now. They're definitely willing to put in the work, right? They want to grow. They want this relationship to grow stronger. They're definitely willing to put in the work for you. Wow. See, look at that. So this is a very strong past life connection. It could be a soulmate connection. That's why you guys feel so comfortable in each other's presence. We're going to pull two more cards for this connection. And then we're going to go on to the other connection. Or some of you have something new coming in. Okay. What else do we need to know about this connection that we have right here? Can we get two more cards about this connection? And where it's going. Where it's headed to. You guys are probably going to be celebrating something together too really soon. Seven of Wands. So in the past, they might not have, the reason that held them back in the past is like they felt like there was something about the relationship that people were going to judge. Like maybe there's an age gap. Maybe you guys are two different religions or something. But there was something here that they were afraid they were going to have to defend. But it doesn't matter to them anymore. anymore. Like it's not a big deal to them anymore. Okay. Wow. So they have really, really high hopes for this. Like they see this going a lot further than it is right now. So they're going to start opening up more to you. They're going to dive in into this with both feet with you, Pisces. Okay. The more that you open up to them and share your stories and open up to them and show them the deep emotions that you have hiding inside those beautiful watery depths, the more they're going to open up to you. I see you both really diving in deep with this, okay? All right, so now let's get some more cards about this other connection. For those of you that have a new connection coming in, okay? <clears throat> For those that... Um, the new connections coming in, the Ace of Pentacles. What do we got for them? What do they need to know about this new connection? Can we get three cards about this new connection, please? What do they need to know about this new connection? Strength. For some of you, it's a fire sign. It's a Leo. Okay. Okay. I've heard that Leo and Pisces mesh very well together. Let's see what else we got. They are watching you on a regular basis and they're spying on you. They're checking your social medias. They're keeping tabs on you for sure, Pisces.
You know what? Also from the strength card, they see you as someone who's very strong. They see you as someone who's like a leader, if that makes sense. They see you as someone that they can spend eternity with. The eternity symbol keeps standing out to me. But mainly they, oh man, there is some really heavy connections here to Mary Magdalene or to Mother Mary. Um, the rose keeps standing out on her, on her head. Some of you have a connection to, um, the Mother Mary, okay? That's how you'll know that this reading is for you. And if you have like some kind of a feeling like your person is spying on you, it's because they are. Okay? Oops. Wow, judgment. So this person... They'll be very non-judgmental of you. That's how you'll know that this is your person. Because they'll basically allow you to be themselves. Like you can literally talk about aliens, you know, drinking soda in your front yard. And they would totally go along with you and believe you. <laughs> like seriously, like this person is very non-judgmental. And it's funny because you don't judge them. So you have that comfort in each other, right? You guys have had a lot of self-reflection. And so you understand each other on um, a level that other people don't really understand, if that makes sense. So someone is in the wounded warrior energy, like they're feeling... Someone's connection has been hurt before in the past, and so they're very, like, afraid to let you in fully, Pisces. It could be you or them, but it feels like them. But the energy is about to even out between you two. Um, it might have felt like you were giving a lot more than they were, but the energy is going to even out. And you're going to see that they're going to start giving to this connection if they can get over this fear. What's going to be the outcome for these two with the new, new relationship? I mean, you don't want to start out with fear, right? It's not a good thing. Ooh, the outcome is going to be the hero fans. So the outcome is going to be commitments. Eventually, they're going to commit to you. The hero fan is my marriage card. Eventually, they're going to give in to this commitment. Look. Oh, my God. There's the keys. Hold on. Who is screaming? Hold on one second. All right. Damn, Pisces. Sorry about that. My child was going crazy. Okay. So, this is my marriage card. Eventually, they're going to want to marry you. Or they do already. There's two keys here, too. So that's going to mean something. Possibly you guys are both key holders. Um, you're a key holder for sure. I can feel that. Your energy feels very like... I don't know how to describe it. But I know like for a fact that you're a key holder. Okay? So you're very important to this ascension journey. And so is your person. I don't know. It could be a twin flame connection. It feels very. There's no cards here that that are screaming it, but it feels very twin flamey. I don't know why it just does like the dynamic, the energy of it. It feels very runner chaser. I don't know. I can't describe it. So this these this is for the second batch for the ones that had. Um, ooh, look at that on the bottom of the deck too. I had to take it. Ace of Wands. It's coming in quickly. They've basically... See, the reason it feels very twin flamey is because we have, you know, the Nine of Wands, which is like someone who's been wounded and had a broken heart and they're, you know, in fear of this connection. But somehow they end up working through it and the energy balances and then we got commitment and coming in quickly. Right? So, 
It feels very twin flamey. It's like they healed their fear, if that makes sense. So that's why I said that. Okay. So let's pull some cards for the first connection. For those of you that are in our connection. I don't know. You're Pisces. <laughs> you're you're so extra. <laughs> like it's funny. I never get two stories. All of a sudden I get two storylines for Pisces. And so now you guys are gonna get like a extra, extra bonus read. Because I think you guys, I don't know, I don't think you guys are getting a bonus read this month because you didn't have the most views on my shorts. But, so if you guys give me the most views on my shorts videos, I'm really, like, I've been really uploading the shorts. So, you know, the little mini shorts, little mini reads. So if you guys get the most views in those, I give you a bonus love read. So, um, I think this month is... Pretty sure it's Libra again. Libra, Capricorn, someone else. But Pisces didn't, you guys didn't earn one. You did last month. Okay. Um, here we go. So for those of you that are in the connection already, what do we have? What else do they need to know? Ten of Wands. Six of Pentacles. So be careful not to let like the daily responsibilities of life get in the way of this connection because I feel like it can like for, I don't know, you know what I'm saying? Like work and all this stupid, dumb drudgery shit that happens in the 3D, like fucking work and kids and shit. Try to stay focused on the spiritual part of this connection and about your life. The six is, reminds me of like spirituality. It's always been over for spirituality. The energy is going to start balancing out. Like you're going to be given to each other equal give and take, which is really good. I see that you guys are really well balanced together. Okay. Oh, yours is going to lead to a commitment too. <laughs> for those of you that are already in a connection, they want to marry you. There's the Hierophant again. Oh, wow. And they are really, oh, gosh. So for those of you that are in this connection, you feel really connected to this person. Um, I see that you guys are connected very much at the crown chakra. I don't know why I'm getting that, but I keep, I'm my eyes keep going to this symbol up here. So it feels to me like you guys are very connected at the crown chakra and the pink too. So you can, this is going to sound so weird. It feels like you guys can like talk to each other through the crown chakra. Almost like you can share thoughts. Like you might have this weird feeling of like when you say something, like they finish your sentences. This is weird too. You guys feel a very twin flaming connection. So strange. Ace of Pentacles. See? This is you guys sharing a life together, growing together, finding abundance together, building a home. Oh, man. Okay. So let's move on to the connection for the, the other story that we had, um, <laughs> the new connection. Okay. For those of you that have a new connection coming in, I like how spirit just be tricking me into giving you two readings, Pisces. Like, what the fuck? Hell to the no. This reading better not be too damn long. I'm going. <laughs> All right. So for the new connection, the other storyline, for those of you that just have a new connection coming in or don't have a connection quite yet. You will have a new connection coming in. I'm telling you, for those of you that don't have a connection, you have one coming in that's leading to marriage. Tell me more about this connection. How will they know what the connection looks like? Ten of Wands. Y'all going down the same damn path. You'll know because it's going to happen when you're really freaking busy. When you're taking care of your kids. When you're studying, when you're doing whatever, when you're living your damn life and you've totally forgotten about love, it's going to come in like a freaking wrecking ball. 
Oh, look at that. Damn, there is a Twin Flame card. Told you. So it is your Twin Flame. When you forget about them, Pisces, when you're like busy doing your own thing, traveling. For some of you, it'll come in when you get a new pet. I don't know why I just got that, but I heard when you get a new pet. Damn! The Hero Fans again. Oh my God, I'm done. I'm done. There, there's your verification. They just told me two times that this person wants to marry you. <laughs> so for those of you that don't have a connection right now, or you have a loose twin flame connection, right? Or if you had any questions about whether or not this person coming in is your twin flame. First of all, yes, they are. Second of all, for those of you that have a loose connection or a connection that is not moving forward, yes, it's going to be moving forward. For those of you that have no connection, it's leading to marriage. If you haven't met your twin flame yet, you, you will. You're very connected again at the high, higher heart and higher chakra systems, okay? So you guys already telepathically communicate. The higher you raise your vibration, the faster they will come in. Boom. The higher you travel up the enlightenment ladder, the faster they'll come in. You already know the, cha the changes that you have to make to make this connection come in and come in quickly. Balance. What else? Work on yourself. Spend some time alone working on yourself. What's the last final card for this connection, please? No, moving on. They already need, they don't even need to know anything. They already got everything figured out. Queen of Wands. Once you start focusing on yourself, focusing on your creativity and what makes your passion burn, like this Queen of Wands, you get into your natural seductive energy. This is how they see you anyways. They see you as like this seductive, fiery queen, okay? She's surrounded by all this fire because she's passionate. Following your passion and following what lights you up, literally like what she's doing, focusing on yourself, being that lone wolf, doing your thing, learning to balance your life, and boom. That's how you'll know. Ooh, look, he's ready, King of Cups. All right, that was definitely for a Pisces um, female. <laughs> no doubt about that. All right. All right, let's do some Gypsy Witch for you. This reading's already gotten way too long, Pisces. I'm mad. Spirit be tricking me and shit. Yo, go to hell, Pisces. <laughs> I love y'all, but for real. Y'all got some strong-ass energy. Y'all manipulate my cards and shit to get two readings. Oh, my God. Y'all can shut up. I love you all. <laughs> Pisces, what else do we got for Pisces? I'm not doing two different cards for this damn... For these ones. Uh-uh. I'm not reading for both connections. So y'all better take this shit. It resonates. Someone is in deep thought about you, Pisces. Look, this divine masculine, your, your divine counterpart, is thinking his ass off. He can't stop thinking about you. He's obsessed. Every damn book he opens, every damn movie he watches reminds him of you. He can't even... He's just going crazy. Look. This could be... Every time I get this card... This could be someone that like, you don't even know, you don't even think that they like you. It feels like sometimes you question like, do they even like me because they might have treated you harshly in the past or just ignored you or not given you any attention. But this is why. It's because they are all up in their head about you. They're obsessed. All they do is think about you. And so they have to be, okay, so... It's kind of like the dynamic. Have, I know you guys have seen this movie. Um, fuck. What is the movie? I can't even think of the movie right now. But the, the, the dynamic between Mr. Darcy and the, the girl. Oh my gosh. Is it Pride and Prejudice? 
I don't think so. Oh my god, I can't I can't think of the movie. I can't think of the movie. But it has Mr. Darcy. It's an old movie. Um it it was based on a book by Jane Austen, right? I think it was Jane Austen. Oh my god, I can't even I get so mad. Spirit, you're gonna have to help me with this. If you want me to channel it, because I don't know, I don't even know. I don't know what the movie's called. But they basically they had to ignore you. Like Mr. Darcy is basically obsessed with this woman. And he is angry because he doesn't know why he's obs obsessed with her, right? So he ignores her every time he sees her. He's very cold or he's mean. But it's because he is so freaking in love with her and he doesn't understand why. She annoys the shit out of him because he loves her so much. And he doesn't want to love her. He wants to just be content in his life, but he cannot stop thinking about her. That's what it feels like. Look, see? Writing a long-ass letter to you. The Holy Spirit is guiding him to write this letter. You guys are fucking twin flames. There is the fucking Lady Nada symbol. I'm I'm sorry. I'm so fired up. There is the Lady Nada symbol, right? The Lady Nada is the ascension guide um, that assists twin flames into union. Her symbol is the pink rose. It's also the symbol of Mary. She is, she would be like the same archetype as Mary Magdalene you know some people think the story of Mary Magdalene came from her she's one of the ascended masters but she's moving his heart to write the letter that's why oh my gosh see he's so jealous of anyone that comes near you he can't stand it if you're in a connection right now he can't stand it he he's dead it hurt. It eats at his heart. Oh my gosh. One more card and we're moving on. Oh man. Yes. Look it. There's the little death. <laughs> he can't stand to see you with other people. So he's making the changes because it kills him. Oh man. Okay. <laughs> you caused him to go into a full-fledged awakening and dark night of the soul. That is why. I told you it felt very twin flamey. I know what I'm talking about. I can read energy like, you know, reading the damn book, y'all, for real. I'm sorry if I'm so quiet. This fucking full moon eclipse has me dying. Like, I'm just, I don't know. I've been feeling it today. Like, I just don't feel like myself, you know? I've done, like, some huge purging and stuff, and I just... I'm feeling it. These transitions have been really hard for me, y'all. For real. I just woke up feeling sad for no reason. I took a bath and everything. And I still feel not good. Waterfall effortless. So see, yes, it's gonna be it's gonna come in so quickly, Pisces, and so easily. You don't even have to do anything because this person is they're literally obsessed. They're sprung. Look, river, movement. I told you. There's a lot of water here. They are so up in their feelings about this connection. It's like the dam is going to break open and they're just going to spill out all their guts. Like, are you ready for this? Seriously, are you ready? Oh, man. It feels all sorts of crying and emotions and... I need you type energy. Oh, man. Perspective. Look at that. You taught them how to see things in a different light. Oh, they see things differently since they met you. It's so beautiful. I can't. What is the last message for Pisces? Oh, it's just. Oh, my God. There it is. Fire passion. So for some of you, it's a fire sign. For some of you, oh, my God. The energy and the fire coming off of this card. They want you so bad. They probably have an erection right now. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't know why that just came out. But that's what it feels like. I swear to God. Like they are so enamored with you. They can't even function. They can't even look at pictures of you without their dick getting hard. That's all I got to say. Uh, fuck. We're done. I'm done Pisces. 
get the hell out of my house. I, I have to use my damn catchphrase on you. I have to say, Pisces, get the fuck out of my house because this is ridiculous. <laughs> Just sitting in this energy, like, is making me feel, like, so sexually turned on. It's ridiculous. I'm done. I'm done, Pisces. All right. So if anything resonated in this reading, please thumbs up the video. Please share it. Please subscribe. It's free. It's totally fucking free. Uh, I'm sorry about my potty mouth. I'm in on some type of energy now after this damn reading. <laughs> oh, if you want to book a reading with me, click on the description box below my video. That will, you know, open up the Goldie appointment fix button and you click on the Goldie button. Goldie appointment fix. That'll book your reading. Holy crap, Pisces. All right. I love you. Bye. <laughs>